what was that learning process like? Um, so you'd submit grants and then I guess when you get a no, what could you take from those no's and then apply it to your next grants? Well, actually, we've had one of the great things about the Canada Council right now and, and different granting bodies at different times, obviously, depending on the political party in power. Um, but sometimes they're more more money for the arts, obviously. Um, and then, you know, also in tandem with being more money for the arts, sometimes there's more help on the actual council side, to actually, you know, guide you through the process. Um, so one of the notes we got, I actually was very lucky. My first grant I got awarded and I was, um, uh, but it, it was for a really strong show that had, that really should have been staged. So that, um, you know, whether it was my grant writing or it was the show and the people involved and the artists involved, I don't know. Um, but we, we have had many no's, <laughs> many, many, many no's. Um, and a couple of things I've taken away from them. One time we were trying to do a show that would have been a profit share for the artists. So they wouldn't have been paid equity rates up front. And um, we would have shared the profits of the uh, ticket sales. And we were denied that grant. And we, when we went back to them, and this was earlier in our uh, like my theater company, the Howland Company has been around for eight years now, but this was early days. And they said like, you didn't get the grant because you weren't paying your artists enough. And now oh. we were the artists, <laughs> like it was also us. <laughs> so we, we, but we took from that, like we, we certainly weren't finding other artists to exploit. We were exploiting ourselves, but, um, that was a really quick lesson of like, no, like we need to, you need to advocate for yourself and, um, you know, in spirit, but also in practice, like you won't be, you're not eligible for funding if you're not paying artists a living wage. And if you are those artists, then you are those artists. But, um, so that was one. And actually we just had a grant come through. Oh my gosh, <laughs> such a grant nerd today. <laughs> but we just had we just had a grant come through that we were, th this is the second time this has happened, but um, you can be denied a grant. And then, you know, a year later, once they've handed out and awarded all the money, there might be um, leftover money or um, a company may have turned down a grant because it conflicted with maybe another grant they had. So we just got, a little grant that we had already been um, rejected from. And so with that, my lesson is just friggin' apply because you never know, yeah. you might get a no and then maybe at the end of the line, there's um, more money than they thought um, or more money is pumped. I don't know, in this case, it might be more money has been pumped into theater because of how decimating the last two years for theater has been. I don't know, but we got this yeah. grant and we're very excited. It was a surprise. 